was young, I was fucking saw the. It was a Slave New World video. It looks like they're out in fucking Arizona in the desert, yeah. and this dude Max got my fucking discharge sticker on his guitar. Yeah. Oh, you held that I guitar. I held that guitar. That's yeah, yeah. so badass, man. Motherfucker. That's badass. went swimming at Max Cavalier's house. It was pretty cool. Yeah, his sons are fucking cool. <laughs> they're cool. They're yeah. cool as a cucumber. Yeah. Well, my homeboys texted me early in the morning. I was I wake up to go to work, and there was already text by him, and it said check this out max cavalera is like giving it up to nails and i couldn't believe my eyes so throughout the day i did a little bit more investigation found out and then i contacted uh i contacted my homeboy greg from dillinger escape plan and i said hey you're doing this record with max right now because they were recording the killer be killed record and i'm like can you get me a mailing address i want to send him some gear in his, in his shirt size so I did and yeah I wrote him a letter the end of In Silent Death where it's like dun 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 that's territory the end of territory <laughs> obviously it's not the same fucking thing it's yeah. just the idea and the in the um, the spirit um, of that song so it's it's half it's not I want to say it's a rip off but yeah I mean um, Sepultura for me is I look I look up to Sepultura like I look to Metallica and 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 Slayer um, as far as uh, metal royalty and and as far as being an influential uh, influential band to me as a guitar player or as someone who um, you know who when I want to my, express myself playing you know metal guitar I want to you know I look to Sepultura as a huge influence um, yeah I don't know man it's just it's fucking crazy man fucking gate creeper nails it's like some of these metal dudes that we look up to have been giving it up to us and it's just like I, that's one of my most rewarding things um playing music i've hung with max he's invited me to go to go hang with them when they're in la so i want to go hang with him he he just treated me like a peer not like a like he's an og and i'm a new dude or whatever like he's he's like it's like he has no ego you know what i mean and he He's a nerd about music too, like we are. Any one of us in this room are. He's a nerd about it. That's why, you know, you don't. You're not a 45 year old man who's basically might as well be a celebrity. He, I mean, he is a legit celebrity in some countries, and you know, still looking for these underground bands that sell less than a thousand copies of their albums, and trying to, you know what I mean. He has a passion for for extreme. He just has a passion for music, dude. That's all it comes down to. See, that's the thing, man. It's like, uh, you know, I, just being a, a fan of music, um, I'm always searching for new bands. I know you are, too. We're always talking about new bands and shit back and forth. Um, I always want to hear new music. I want to hear cool music. I want um, music to move forward. I'm not a real nostalgic person. I mean, I go back and listen to old fucking old hardcore punk death metal records uh, all the time because I want to hear music. But I'm also a real big champion of new music. You know what I mean? Um, and Chase and I started communicating. I think it's because I hit you up to do a nail shirt. Yeah, through four five. Right, and uh, um, right, right, and uh, you know, we became we just talk more, chat more, and you know, became buddies. And it's like you know, let's go play together, and 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 that's the thing. It's like you like I always thought it was corny when older bands um, didn't really pick up and support. You know, some of maybe their hometown bands, maybe other peers, bands, maybe just bands they thought were good that that would, um, you know, be good a good band to play with uh, for their audience. Like a nails, a nails fan. Why wouldn't they like Gate Creeper? You know what I mean. So it makes sense that we play together. They should like Gate Creeper. I mean, fucking why? Why wouldn't they? Um, so yeah, I don't know. Full of hell, great band. Um, I just I just pay attention, you know. Um, Chase from Gate Creeper and his bandmates, and Dylan and Spencer and Dave and and their bandmates, um, Slammy, Sammy. Those like those guys are all super super uh, work super hard and really want to get their bands out there. And and I don't know, like uh, you know, the universe brings us together, uh, music brings us together, and and. I'm a I'm a firm believer in the in the in the statement you know a high tide a high tide raises all ships so I know if you know Gate Creeker gets some bomb tour full of hell gets some bomb tour and like they go out and they're touring and they're working hard I know that's just that's good for everybody that's good for that's good for everybody's band that's good for the whole audience you know what I mean like and that's what we really want to do with nails especially it's just like when we go out and play we want to create a show 
that we feel that like our, our audience would see or as, or as a fan, I think of, I think of my, myself as a 15 year old, 16, you know, just a young fan, even now, like what would I want to see in the, and I think nails, toxic, Holocaust, gate creeper, that's the bomb. That's something I'd want to see. And I hope, I, I really do hope. And I think that our fans do want to see that, see that too. So just want to create a good environment that people just go fucking go to a show, have fun and get loose at competition is the worst aspect of playing music just people having egos and attitudes and shit like it's good to be aware of who you are of who your band is of who other bands are and it's 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 good to be aware but competition i I hate it i hate the attitudes i hate the jealousy i hate the fucking egos that come with band competition i just don't want any fucking part of that you know what i mean like honestly, like I would be happy if Gate Creeper got bigger than Nails. I'd be happy in like five years if Gate Creeper was some huge band and you know, Chase called me and said, Hey, you wanna come fucking play on the Gate Creeper tour? Fucking well you know, I, I, I that'd be just fucking fine with me, man. You know what I mean? Fucking I hope that happens. We're out here in Toronto playing a fucking sold out show in a five hundred and fifty capacity venue, like life's life's all right, you know what I mean? I think. I'm fucking gonna have fun tonight.